After our far-reaching investigation into laundry facilities in Afghanistan, tonight we turn the spotlight on food. Getting the correct nutrition and plenty of fluids is absolutely critical when you're out in theatre, but the fare on offer varies greatly according to where you are. Laura Hawkins has been tasting the difference. glorious food. It's so important out here in theatre for morale, for social reasons and for energy. And here at Camp Bastion, well, the troops, they've got it pretty good. There are four cookhouses like this at Camp Bastion, three run by a catering company and one run by the military. Most of the chefs are from Sri Lanka and they offer an impressive selection of meat, curries, veggie options, a cheese board and even those with a sweet tooth certainly don't go without. 90% of supplies come via ship, then through Pakistan to Camp Bastion, but once a week fresh produce is flown in. Over four and a half tonnes of fruit and vegetable is eaten a week in each cookhouse. That's the same weight as an African elephant. During the ship rip, we are feeding 4,000, around 5,000 soldiers. So now a little getting down, maybe we are feeding now 2,500 uh, soldiers every, every meal, each meal. On top of three meals a day, the troops have extra options for food and drink, like KFC, Pizza Hut, the Nafi and coffee shops. Out on the ground, however, there isn't so much choice. Here at this forward operating base, there's a team of three chefs. But depending on the number of troops in a fob, there may only be one. Preparing three meals a day on a six-month tour means you have to be as creative as possible. It's no good to give the lads like, plain old food every day because this is their uh, morale for the day. They've been out on, like, out on the ground and everything. When they come back in, they want to see really good food. Like tonight we're doing a, a roast bar for them. We've got roast beef, roast lamb, roast chicken, roast potatoes and all the garnishes. So it's, it's, it's our job. It's our job to please the lads when they come back in off the ground. Here, on the other hand, it's a different world. There are 17 men at this observation post and all the lads here have to work with are these 10-man ration packs. An observation post is even smaller than a checkpoint and this is the most austere location that the British Army have out here. Obviously, we've got as we've got minced beef. I, uh, we've got things like hot chocolate, rice. We've got plenty of tins of beans, uh, tea. We've got dried milk powder, um, lots of pasta. And literally, we've got four or five pans. Most of the cooking we do is with bottled water, I, um, and just kind of adapt using spices and different flavourings and stuff. We send our beans with everything, don't we? Beans with everything has kind of been adapted. Chili with beans, pasta baker's beans in it, beans for breakfast. It's, it's probably one of the favourites, isn't it? The soldiers take it in turns to cook and they've even started to teach each other. It's basic, but the troops here are happy enough. However, when you're tucking into those fish and chips on Friday night, spare a thought for the lads out here. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Helmand.